Welcome, I'm, uh, my name's Scott, I'm here for General Games. I'm here with Frank Brooks, you're a designer on X-Wing 1 and 2.0. I didn't do, I didn't design first, I designed second. Okay, you oh, worked, oh, worked on first. first. Yes, yeah. for like five years, so yeah, <laughs> pretty familiar. So you, you know some spaceships. Uh, today we're going to go through a short video describing what's changed in 2.0, what's changed in second edition, what we're, what we're looking forward to seeing in the new kind of Star Wars X-Wing universe. Yeah. So uh, take us away. There's a lot has changed, but a lot has stayed the same at the same time. Yep. So, dice are the same, the shape of the templates are the same. These are all the same dice. Yep. A lot, a lot's going on. Alright, the, the, uh, no, it doesn't work. If you actually look very closely, there are some subtle differences, but actual, it's still 10 centimeters, same length, but basically the same deal. Um, maneuver dials are very similar. Obviously, we've uh, rearranged it so that all the information is displayed instead of only a tiny bit that you can see. And you've changed it from green to blue. Is yes, that for color blindness it issues? Sure is. You would have got at least two emails from my father, <laughs> who is red, green, color blind. I can't play X. <laughs> yeah, my, my grandma, my grandma was, and so like when we played Uno, I had to like write on all the cards to see oh, what you, colors they were. So. You, uh, you color blindness fix Uno. That's incredible. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm already aware of this problem. So I, I was glad we were able to make that little change. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, all the all the uh, vis they're visible right away. You can see all of them, so you don't have to like slowly scroll through all of it to see what you want to do. Which um, is a good change. Yes, and uh, uh, we got a chance to look at all of the dials, so we made some of them better, some of them worse, depending yep. on, on the ship. Um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, yeah, we were able to add like uh, S-loops and, uh, and talent rolls to ships that didn't happen before, like the X-Wing has, That's really exciting. has talent rolls on there, which is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, the, the course that comes with debris clouds and asteroids. Has, oh, okay, cool. So how many of each? Three of uh, each? Three each. Yeah, okay. Yep, so these are similar shapes that you might recognize. I mean, they're just sort of... That's the same. Is it? These are the same? Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, they might be between the first and the uh, Force Awakens corset. Okay. Which ones are which, but... Yeah, yeah so... Um, but yeah, they're, they're there. Um, yeah, so uh, one of the other things you'll notice about the way the template's changed is now we have the line down the middle. Okay, yep. The benefit of that is so that, for example, if I have this one here and... I am gonna run into you perfectly. Oh no! How do I roll this? The dexterity this? part of this game. Yeah, you're able to line up the front and back with the lines to help actually. So it's just a quality of life thing. Exactly. I really appreciate that. That one's yeah. that one's pretty solid. Um, additionally, uh, the, an important one is the way the one maneuver template works. Yep. So. Uh, when you do a barrel roll in first edition, you used to be able to go anywhere yep. along the side, anywhere along the side. In second edition, you have to line it perfectly up to the middle. Okay. And then on the other side, you can either go, you can go to the front, middle, or back. So there's only essentially six positions instead of infinite. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that helps a, uh, a little bit of like realism in that you couldn't perfectly maneuver, but it also helps with uh, just tournament play in that the precision of if I need to go back. I have to go back here, you know. It's yeah, no like longer can you be like, yeah, I'm gonna barrel. Oh no, I can't. Now how could you possibly go back? Like, you can't. You've lost it. But yeah. So now, uh, any perfect are lined there. Um, it also it behaves a little bit more like boost in that you have like the fixed positions yeah. that you can be in. Um, so that's uh, yeah, a bit of the maneuver template stuff. Um, we can move on to the cards. So as you can see visually, we have uh, side the we don't have mini cards anymore. Yep. So we just have them sideways and you can kind of slide them in together. So they are a little bit wider than the first edition mini cards, but you can stack them together so it, it doesn't really take up any more table space realistically. Yeah, awesome. Additionally, you can have little restrictions that you put here that don't matter during the game, but obviously matter during your uh, list building. Yeah, nice. Um, additionally, as you can see, there's no actual bar anymore and there's no po point cost because that's handled with the squad builder. That's very exciting and bold, I would say. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Uh, yeah, we have the, there's a printable list, of course, that you can use for, for point costs and, and upgrade bars if you need it, but um, um, we're, we're really excited with the ability to, to make those little changes so that the game isn't dominated by certain metas of this is the best thing because it's the most efficient for points yeah. or, or whatever. And um, you don't have to take off upgrade slots and exactly. make ships that come out of the box really strange and different. Yeah. Yeah, like it. And we can like retroactively add things that we didn't know about or changed or whatever. So like we can, it gives us a little more tools to be able to touch the game later. Um, also with the... Uh, <laughs> We added the new type of configuration, okay. <clears throat> which is this symbol. Um, as you can see here, when the card flips over, I always, I, I think it should have flipped the other way. That's just me. Um, <laughs> Some internal tension there. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, it flips to the other side, and it retains the effect. So as you can see... And then you have to do this sort of thing, right? Yeah, you can pinch the little engines there to get the... Boop. 
Oh, sick. So, there you go. So you can uh, do your S foils open and do attack position or closed in order to move faster. It matters in space. You want to be really thin. Yeah, yeah. It's really helpful to get that profile down, you know. Um, as we all know, there's air in space because uh, there's sound and obviously. Oh, yeah. It's going to look like a fl plane or a fly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like a plane or a fly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, another big improvement, uh, or I guess not necessarily improvement, but an addition, probably an improvement, um, is the idea of linked actions. So as you see here, you can focus into a red boost. Yeah. So uh, we've been able to do that in a lot of different places, which I'm really excited about, because it really makes two ships that ultimately have the same action bar feel pretty different. Because you can have this one can only link into a boost, but the other one can boost into stuff. So those, will, those having identical action bars otherwise will just end up in different positions. So you could be like, I really like how the alien flies just because it has a specific orientation in its length of ours. So it means you, can, you have to staple push the limit to lots of different ships. Exactly. And, then, and that was another nice point, is that push the limit was so important, but also so good, that it was like kind of too good, and it's too limited. Wave 2? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Wave 14, they want it everywhere. It's everywhere. And so we, we wanted to be able to address that by like essentially getting you into that concept without just giving you free So giving you specific actions you can perform. Um, another big one we uh, have, as you can see here, are the charges. So you can have charges to track things. So uh, you can see here, this has two charges. I have two charges presented here. Mm -hmm. So they flip to the uh, inactive side after okay. they've been used. And then there are some ways, such as reload, that will let you recover them from the back. But ultimately, it lets us do limited effects. So R2-D2 lets you spend a uh, charge to recover a shield, but you can't do it forever. You can only do it three times, Okay. since he has the three. Additionally, we have the force, which is obviously a, a big deal and important to the setting. Um, so now we actually have force charges. We were able to get uh, the theme across of the idea of being able to, you know, survive things you shouldn't be able to or be able to kind of, you know, manipulate the world around you in, in a, a unique way. But um, now we can do it more like hard-coded mechanically by using force charges. So uh, yeah, similarly, it if we don't just care about focus anymore. Exactly, it's not just focus. Yeah. Um, it, its base effect is to change a focus result into a hit or evade, but you can also do it for other other various game effects called out by card abilities. Yeah, awesome. And then yeah, shields also exhaust. Yeah, I like that you can see how many there was. Yes. Like, we have the detail of the cards. Yes. It's very clean. It's really nice, and also you don't have the weird issue of like putting them aside, because then, if, especially if you're like a second part, you're like, wait, how did he get oh. a shield? And it's just a whole, now it's a little easier in that they're like right right next to it. Awesome. So, and like in there. Um, Is the damage deck the same? Damage deck's different again. Different again? Yeah. Different, yeah, <laughs> but I'd say better, of course. Always better. Um, We'd hope so. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of different effects in here. We still have ship and pilot type differences. But often, instead of having you to roll a die to see whether it worked or not, it just does. Action repair. And repair just means to flip back over. Yeah, okay. So you don't have to... I really like that. Yeah, and there's some that are permanent, like damaged engines. You just... Yep. That's how old, it is. Old faithful. Yeah, get rocked. Yeah. Um, although we did change it. Instead of it being red, it's just decreased the difficulty. Ah, I so like if you, Yeah. So if you have blue turns, yep. they're only white instead of going all the way to red. Well, so. I, actually, I actually heard someone suggest that that would be a good idea maybe like six months ago. So. Right? And you're like, yeah, it would be. <laughs> it's a really good idea. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, we've had another kind of subtle difference is with direct hit. You just draw another damage card instead of like having to track it being two. Yeah, okay. that sort of thing. So anyway, and the blinded pilot is also less punitive, but also more thematic. Whatever. Awesome. So yeah, we were able to do a lot of little tweaks. We're very excited. Good. Games. And, uh, thank you so much for yeah. uh, having your time and letting us know what's up. Sure. Thank you. Thank you.